Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, episode 71 of Survival of the Fitted. A lot more energy this morning, which is always a good thing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. There you go. RIP my earlobe, but here goes nothing. RIP everybody Williams. that's... Oh. Yeah. Headphone users, I'm sorry, but uh, Ian's very excited this morning. Why are you so excited, Size. Ian? I just What's had my coffee. On? You know, you know how this goes. This isn't our first time doing this. It's our seventy first time. When I have my coffee, you yep. got splat, splat, bo, bo, bo. When you don't, the, it's a lot of you syllables. Get, yeah, when you get those. Yeah, you know, it's a lot of syllables. You know what he's really excited about? He's probably stoked because we just kicked off the League Fits Discord, and he can't contain his emotions. That's oh, probably what that is right there. Oh. Yeah. Oh, tell us your nickname. You asked the Discord for a nickname. I asked the today. Discord for a nickname and I got a couple I got a couple suggestions mm-hmm. out the Discord. One I didn't really understand. I didn't mock and lie, I didn't really get I still don't understand. It was like avant garde or something like that. And I hope I'm not cursing in another language, so I didn't even want to say it on here. <laughs> but the other one was not so average Joe, which I'm pretty sure we've used in the past, but it's okay. We're seventy one deep. They don't know these things, you know? You gotta extend yeah. some Yeah. It's not too bad. That was probably that was probably your nickname during like the like the Austin Rivers era. Yeah, that was that was last podcast cover, guys. Mm-hmm. Last cover. I'm just joking. But that that was that was pre OnlyFans Hollywood Hills photo shoot house cover. Oh, yeah. We gotta shoot. have another one of those, man. We need another. I'm down. I'm down. I. Yeah, that was. We had a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. What, doing what do you guys that. think? Should we? Uh, for those listening, you could just, I guess, nod your head and we'll like telekinetically <laughs> read what you're doing. Should we, should we reshoot the cover? I feel like we should reshoot the cover. I feel like we look cooler now. That's my biggest thing. Yeah. Is like, when well, we look cooler, got to catch yeah. in on that. We should, we should honestly reshoot the cover like every three months. Because every three months, this podcast also gets cooler. So it should just yeah. be like an evolving thing. Exactly. I'm here for it. Yeah. I'll make sure more to ask trips, more Instagram models in the kitchen. Yeah, I'll make sure to ask more slant the slam overlords if we have budget to pay a photographer every three months. Mm-hmm. Um, or you know, fuck it, we'll self timer. I don't know. Um, you know who definitely yeah. has a budget? Who? Segue alert: LeBron James. Uh, wow, that was a great segue. Why? Why does he have a budget, Ian? Why does LeBron James have a budget? LeBron James. And we love to see this. We, we love, we love see to it. see. We love to see people getting paid. LeBron is now a billionaire. This he is let one air horns. One billion dollars. Billionaire. Do you know how many pairs of Chrome Hearts jeans he could buy with a billion dollars? I'm gonna go out on a limb here, and I'm gonna say a lot. I'm gonna say a yeah, lot of pairs of lot. Chrome Hearts jeans he can buy. Yep. Do you know how many people he could lowball and grilled? How a lot many of people. people can he love? A lot of people. He can love a, a lot of people on grill. Mm-hmm. Tons yeah. of them. Somebody, please Tons buy my please buy my ricks that I have on grilled. I have eighty dollars in my checking account. I've had these pair of ricks on grilled for like a month. Not the green listed? ones. No. The yes. Ones. It's it's yes yeah, the listed? geo baskets. Um, yeah. Bought them for eleven hundred dollars. Was a stupid purchase. Never mm-hmm. wore them. Um, and they're listed for nine hundred, and people keep offering offering me like five hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. Please go buy my geo baskets. It's a tough um, sell. Yeah, it's LeBron. A, it's a tough sell. You, LeBron, you can afford my geo baskets. We will get it to him. We'll get it. I'm sure. Yeah. Title League has a Kurt. Kurt has a connection. He was just out with the in Cleveland with LeBron or something like that. Yeah, we'll producer, producer Kurt, producer Kurt, yeah, like we'll his best friends with LeBron now. Yeah. Um. So if you yeah, see so, LeBron in some geo baskets in the summertime. Yeah, and some size twelves. Yeah, mm-hmm. just know. Maybe, maybe maybe he'll give them to Bronny. Maybe he'll give them to to Zuri to grow into. That'd be a great, great, great gift. Yeah. LeBron's a great dad. Now he's a better dad. Yeah. Um, shout out LeBron. Um. Oh, speaking of big money, I did something cool this week. What was that? I sat courtside for the first time. I did see that on your story. I was trying to mm-hmm. FaceTime you and I was like, why is this guy not face? Like, why is he not? Ian's the one who usually FaceTime me out of blue. So it had to be some going up. Yeah. I sat courtside at an LA Sparks game. Um, and I'm not going to lie. It was like one of the coolest things I'd ever done. Um, I've sat like really close to the court before. Like I've sat like behind the bench, like things like that. Um, but that was like the first time like my feet, like sweat touched me. 
Oh yeah. Like there sweat, like sweat touched me. Like I'm making eye contact. Like it's crazy because when you're sitting that close and you like talk shit to the players, like they'll look at you. <laughs> Are you and you're that guy? Do you talk? Do you talk crazy to the players? Oh yeah, I, I did. I was like, oh she too little. Oh she, too she too hacking. Little. And then she would like turn and look at me, and I'm like, oh oh fuck, <laughs> so, oh, my damn. bad. I'm not um, the nosebleeds anymore. Oh, yeah, man. I know. It's funny because I didn't know I was gonna be courtside because I wore like. Kind of like a plain outfit. I literally wore like sweatpants, like a vintage Utah Jazz t-shirt, and like chucks mm-hmm. and sunglasses because um, I was kind of high. And I I didn't get my ticket till I got to the arena and it was like section CRT. And I was like, no, no, way. no, 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 way. no, it's Absolutely not. Absolutely no way. It's not that. Um, ironically, I was also going by myself because like sometimes like I just don't want to talk about basketball with people. Like I, I like understand. watching basketball like by myself more than I like watching basketball with other people. It's like that Devin Booker tweet. Like you can't talk basketball with everyone. Oh, okay. But yeah. I mean, you can though because we don't know anything about basketball. Like we can probably talk okay, realistically. Like, we can talk basketball with like a second grader. Sure, like, but I actually do. I don't watch a ton of basketball, but I, I'm dude. I'm from North Carolina. Like I know a lot of. He's basketball. a hooper at heart. Yeah. I was called. I like. I run no. a two three zone on two K. Like, you know what I, I mean? Like I hear you. I hear you. Yeah. Like I know basketball. Um, I just sort of like don't watch the NBA as much as I used to. Um, granted, the playoffs have sucked me back in. Conference finals were kind of boring, but like in general, the playoffs sucked mm-hmm. me back in. Um Yeah, man, sitting courtside, sick. Don't have any fit picks to prove it. So that means technically you and I can it didn't happen. It didn't we can happen. lose our courtside fit pick virginity together. Um, and that'll be a cool thing. I'm not gonna lie. I was like searching through Getty. I was like searching looking, up all the players' names and stuff, just oh, looking mind, to see if mind. I was in the background of like any oh. of these pictures. I wasn't. Um, I actually think I was sitting right behind the Getty photographer. <laughs> oh, that's so, unfortunate. Um, so like best seat for like watching him take free throws and stuff. Worst seat for for getting fit pics on Getty. That's unfortunate. Uh, I'm trying to get yeah. to a WNG and a WNBA game courtside. You might be wondering why, because I'm trying to get chose. I want to get chose. I'm trying to be an at home husband. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be. I want to be. Yeah. The, that why one. do you think you know I was saying? there, Joe? Why do you think I was I'm trying there? to get chose? That's what I'm saying. I can. Do, I can. Oh, yeah. I. The homie hooked it up. Well, I'll holler at you. I think that's something we could make happen this summer. Yeah, we, I'm trying to get chose this summer. Who's trying to choose me? Like, no, we, <laughs> we, we can sit courtside at like a you know Sunday what we should afternoon. Do? What? We got to be the mysterious girl at the bar. We're going to pull up courtside with crazy outfits. And you know what we're going to do? We're both going to pull out books. Yes. Books. Oh, my books. gosh. Shorty can be at the free throw line. Like, who's that with the book underneath? Like, mm-hmm. oh, that's interesting. Boom, right there. Got yeah. chose. Because. Yeah, yeah, because that's that's the perfect seat, right? I realized this, right? When you sit, because I sat like right next to the basket, basically. That's yeah. where you can like make the most eye contact and like, you know, because players, when you're like courtside, like on the side of the court, like, you know, where the benches are and shit, like, you can't, you don't really like make eye contact with the players because they only see you like within passing for like one mm-hmm. second. Um, but when you're down there, yeah. So like we're looking down, reading our books mm-hmm. and it's like some intelligent shit. It's like we're reading... Communist Manifesto, oh. Manifesto. That's what we're reading. Something like that. Oh. Well, you know the Communist Manifesto is only like 20 pages, right? Well, this isn't a WNBA game only like 40 minutes. Yeah, which is crazy because people are like, yeah. oh, the WNBA is so low scoring. I don't know why they play eight less minutes. I promise you these girls could play the extra eight minutes. It's so stupid. Yeah, for sure. Um, I'm like, the games aren't actually low scoring. They, the games are just shorter for no reason. Anyway, um, no, we got to read like Moby Dick. Really? That's like a smart people book, right? Is it? Like no, because you like read like that a core curriculum novel that everyone once had to read in <laughs> public education. Oh, um, poetry. We got to read like poetry books. But like, okay, like the, Walt Whitman, I, not like Shel Silverstein, like like Walt Whitman and like Emily Dickinson. I am now realizing. Like, I wish I knew more titles of books because I don't know any. Yeah, it's okay. Don't worry. Me too. And but like we're reading our books and then like we glance up and we make eye contact with someone as they're taking a free throw. We do like a smug, a smug little smile Mm -hmm. 
before she takes the free throw, and then right as she's taking the free throw, we go back to our bugs. Yep. Let her just. Oh my god. Let, let her marinate. Let the moment marinate is what we got to do. Wait, is this is, is this how we go wife hunting? Are you this and I going to be wife hunt. either either this or we go to Lily's games and we try to get chosen? But it's a little harder though because we're going to be on the soccer field. So I well, so you know, harder. I matched with Lily's teammate on Raya. <laughs> there we go. We're yeah. already guy. We we're infiltrated mm-hmm. circle. Mm-hmm. I I we're matched in with there. Lily's teammate on Raya, and like I didn't know if they were homies, but then like Lily's story the next day, like they like hang out. And uh, mm. anyway, she I messaged her, she didn't respond. So um, you messaged th- Lily and she didn't respond. No, I messaged Lily's teammate. Oh, it's it's yeah. cool though. It's yeah. cool. I was I was like it happens oh, to the best of us. I was like, what's popping? Um, and yeah, she like didn't respond. So I think, I think you and I are built to be basketball husbands. I think that's what's in the cards for us. I think I just really want to be on like real basketball husbands of Silicon Valley. And I think that's what my life has just turned into. Silicon you know? Valley. There's not even a WNBA team there. Real basketball husbands of the Hills. Orange County. Something Orange like that. Orange County. Yeah, we could be like, I'll be making okay. the move soon. So we'll, we'll, okay. we'll, we'll, we'll get, we'll spring, get that set up. Winter, spring, 2023. Ian Joe. Real basketball husbands of Newport Beach. There we go. And we're going to do it by pulling up, being the boys at the game, sitting courtside, reading Emily Dickinson and Walt Whitman. Yeah. And being, being the boys, is. being the girl at the bar. It's come on. It's a poet, bro. Got you. That's yeah. well, at least we have a plan in motion now. So I'm, I'm very, this is great. This is great. This yeah. is an elite. We got like, oh shit, dude. I'm, I'm kind of excited the, for us. Are the is the wheel spinning right now? Is that what's going on? Yeah, yeah. I, I, dude. I don't know. We can like wear some like super thotty Fashion Nova men outfits. You know what I mean? And like Air okay. Jordan ones. Like, and what's uh, the wait? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. What's a thotty Fashion Nova outfit? And I'm sorry if you guys have this outfit at home, but we got like a thotty like Fashion Nova men outfit. Like, yeah, this shit that like people that go to vacation like in Cancun where like the matching like two piece sets and like the top is unbuttoned all the way you know what I'm talking oh. about like the vacation set is this like the ASO starter pack is this similar to that yeah uh, yeah yeah it's the ASO okay. starter pack I think I've seen it before with like For an sure. Air Jordan with like an Air Jordan 1 or like okay. a Gucci loafer there we go or no cause like you can't afford the Gucci loafer so you have like Gucci slides on that's a very thoughty outfit. Yeah. So like, Not yeah, we're wearing like ASOS matching set, Gucci belt, Gucci slides, Urban Outfitters sunglasses. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. We're getting chose just yeah. like that. Speaking wow. of the WNBA, I want to segue over because I'm the king of the segues this episode. WNBA tunnel lighting. How do we feel about the WNBA tunnel lighting? I've seen we got a League Fits post out. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to yeah. glorify the light over in the WNBA space. I feel like they're doing it better than the NBA. They got yeah, the better these, setup. Dude, like half of these WNBA tunnels are like so lit. Like the Seattle Storm have like this green tunnel with like a intended. neon lightning bolt in the background. Oh, I see what you mm-hmm. did there. Like the Connecticut Sun. Like, listen, like say that out loud. The Connecticut, a, a, a pro basketball team in Connecticut. Like, Connecticut's not cool. I don't even know. I can't even point Connecticut out it's on a classy. map. And I graduated I, I, college last week. I can't. Keep going. I definitely can't point Connecticut out on a map. Yeah. Um, but, like, their tunnel is so lit. Like, the lighting is crazy. And not only that, but, like, these girls, like, hit the pose. Like, they don't, like, pretend to look at their phone and shit. Like, they hit the pose. The pictures are so fire. And, like, I think last year... Like tunnel wise, fit wise, whatever the NBA beat out the WNBA, and we're early on in this WNBA season, and I think the WNBA is eating up the NBA. I agree, and I think yeah. it it goes back to as I point with my water bottle at you, it goes back to the fact that they embrace the moment. I remember we had Rudy yeah. Gay on here, and that was one of the questions I asked him. I was like, man, because we were talking about the sidekick, and I was like, dude, like. Are you really even looking at your phone when you're walking through the tunnel? Because we've seen this happen. We, we, we yeah. were, you know what I'm saying, students at one point, and you walk mm-hmm. past someone in the hallway, and they avert eyes, and they go look at their phone. You're not looking at anything, bro. Yeah, come on. You're I do that, like, on emails. the sidewalk. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, you're, you're, you're calculating equations on the calculator. Dude, I'm looking app. at, I'm looking at the playing. lock screen. Like, let's be Yeah, honest. you're looking at your lock screen. Like, so then yeah. I'm like, man, you should, like, WNBA, they're not looking at their lock screen. They're embracing the moment. Mm-hmm. They're embracing the moment, and it's working. 
It's yeah. flourishing. It, there, there's it's something to, to be chose. said. Like, you know that Aesop Rocky video? I feel like every week I bring up a different Aesop Rocky video and I'm like, you know the one where Aesop Rocky says this? Well, you know yeah. the one where he's like, you think it's lame to try? You yeah. think not trying is cool? Like, I feel like some NBA players think they're like too cool to like pose in the tunnel or whatever, even though like, oh my gosh, like you and I both know these basketball guys. Like they all know, they all know where the cameras are. They all plan for it. But they're like, they're too cool to like look into the camera. You know what I mean? And these exactly. girls aren't. And that's what makes them cooler. So that's what it comes down to. Because that comes from a place of like secureness. I agree 100%. I hope our future basketball wives are listening. They're, they are listening and they are, they are listening. I, yeah. They're listening. They're <laughs> listening. Okay. Speaking um, of the da, 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 da. Couldn't find a segue for this because it's hard to find a segue for this. Yeah. Last talking point that I wanted to go over. Tim oh, wait, Duncan. here, I got it. I know what I got it. I got it. Oh, speaking segue, of women, speaking of women, shout out Becky Hammond, who coaches oh, the Aces and used to be on connection. the Spurs coaching staff. You know who used to play for Spurs? Coaching staff. Three, two, one, Timothy Tim Duncan. Duncan. Tim Duncan. Oh. Timothy. 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 Timothy Hardaway. Duncan. Tim Duncan. Mm. So. That's my nickname next week. Whatever, keep going. You got it. You for sure. You put you put this on the agenda for today. Um, yeah, Tim Duncan. The, the, I'm guessing you're referring to the league fits post I made, where it was yeah. like the Tim Duncan fits and like the fits of his fit. I know that sounds crazy, but like the way his clothes fit him, mm-hmm. literally is how every Balenciaga piece fits in yeah, our I, beloved year 2022 i posted like a bunch of like 2008 tim duncan pics and like his flannels and his jeans fit the exact same way that like blunciaga stuff does today he was ahead of his time he was ahead of his time and i just yeah. i just want to i'm sure i made a tim duncan joke sometime in the past and i just want to i just want to apologize to my 13 year old self mans was ahead of his time he was ahead yeah. of the curve he was he was creating a wave that's what he was doing Dude, and it's interesting because like we compare um, Tim Duncan to like Jared Allen, right? In the sense that it's like, haha, you dress so poorly that it's like funny, and mm-hmm. maybe you can dress because you dress so shitty. But maybe in all actuality, it, like no, no diss to Jared Allen. Jared Allen is like super cool, super dope. Um, but mm-hmm. you know, it's like it, it's funny. You know what I mean? Like not trying, whatever. But like Tim Duncan, like the, I, I think maybe we had the narrative wrong. Like maybe yeah. Tim Duncan was just really ahead of his time because like I was looking at these outfits and I'm like, dude, shit. Like if you take away like the flip phone clip on his belt, like Frank Jackson could wear this outfit today. You said that in the shameless plug League Fits Discord. Discord, that you guys should, uh, you guys should really join it's fun. League Fits Discord. It's an interactive awesome. community, is really what it is. Yeah, it's really it amazing. Is. But we're yeah. gonna shove this down your throats, but it's it's actually awesome. Um, oh, okay. Like Frank it's Jackson amazing. could. Shut up. Like, it's a I was fun like, Frank Discord. Jackson, it's yeah. If I was like, if Frank Jackson wore this, yeah. people would be like, yeah, this shit's fire. I love the oversized flannel. I love the oversized skater jeans. And like, he was even wearing like Doc or something. I don't know exactly yeah. what it was, but it wasn't a sneaker. Um, I, I, I think we got to cut the narrative that Tim Duncan was poorly dressed. We're officially drawing a line in the sand right now. Tim Duncan yeah. was a was stepper. not poorly dressed. Yeah, he was, was seven just foot ahead stepper. of his time. Yeah. Tim Duncan, the come same, on the pod. The same way that Dennis Rodman aged. Like, Dennis Rodman's fits, or you're like, oh, whoa, like the plaid pants, leather jacket. Like, Kelly Oubre would wear that today. I, I think Tim Duncan is aging the same way. Mm-hmm. Real shit. I agree. Y- 100%. Y2, Y2K. Y2K on the rise. Y2K is a phrase I throw around all the time without, like, truly understanding it, but it's okay. Neither of us, neither of us belong to that. We weren't born, and that's unfortunate. We like just we barely make the I cut. Think. We yeah. barely make the cut. Yeah. You're yeah, you're Gen Z, if I'm not mistaken. I'm Gen, 97. You, is that the cut? The cut is like 95, yeah, right? Or I'm Gen like Z. Yeah. yeah, we're both Generation Z. But what am I saying? Why 2K is Generation Z too? Whatever. Uh, I'm just math, math, numbers, numbers. Yeah. Blah. Meow, Brains meow, meow. exploding. Yeah. Brains exploding. Julia <laughs> Roberts. Julia Rob hurts. Okay, lame joke. Um, Do you not get where that's from? Oh, never mind. I heard you watch. I heard you watch Stranger Things. It's twenty-two last night. jump sheet. It's twenty-two jump. Whatever, but uh, yeah, well, yeah I, finished, I love that movie. Yeah, that was a great scene. Whatever, but yeah. uh, 
Yeah, I finished uh, Stranger Things. Did you finish season, the volume one, season four? No, my buddy's been staying with me and he just moved out like two days ago. Um, so mm-hmm. I, I need to. I actually watched The Notebook last night. Oh, wow. Are you going through some or? No, I was just like super in my feelings. I, I was looking out my window at the Griffith Observatory at like 10 p.m. Wow. Drove up there and like sat on a ledge and like looked over the city for like 30 minutes. Drove Did you back think to about my your apartment. WNBA wife? Is that what yeah, this def- moment was? Yeah, about? of course. Yeah, Drove back sure. to my house, rented the notebook for three ninety nine on Amazon Prime, which is funny because I only have eighty dollars in my checking account right now. Um, That's a good purchase. And I, yeah, I don't know. I was super in my feelings, but I, I probably need to get on Stranger Things. It's worth yeah, getting, it's, like watching ASAP. Uh, not ASAP, because truth be told, the way that they broke it up was there's two volumes to season four. The last uh, volume has year. two episodes that are like ridiculously long. It's like mm-hmm. every episode is like a movie. They're all like an hour and a half almost, but uh, it's not pressed because you, once okay. you once you run through this volume one, you're just gonna be sitting around till July first, regardless. So okay, take you. your time with it. Take okay, your time. word. Good to know. Yeah. Good to know. Good to know. Um, yeah. Okay. Finals are tonight. We'll talk about that Monday. Um, but before we wrap, I wanted to say a shout out to producer Peter. He like edits the podcast like yeah when, it, when you and i say things that we'd get fired for he's the one who like cuts them out and we found yeah. out today that he's a fan he's a he fan. listens to the podcast with his girlfriend mm-hmm. and that's the first ever sighting of the survival of the fitted pod and chill like netflix and chill hulu Oof. and chill whatever this is the first known survival of the fitted pod and chill session that we know about we love it and Peter, I don't know if he can hop up. Peter, can, can you talk? Is Peter here? Shout out Peter. Probably the only Pe- person who enjoyed episode 69 more than oh, me. Guys. What's up, Peter? Hey, Peter, Peter. So if you guys ever like really survival the fitted pot and chill hard enough, you'll name what? like the like the middle name of the kid would be Ian or Joe, right? Or at least one of my nicknames. Of course. Something. Yeah. 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 yeah you could. Name. There we go. Yeah. It could be like you first name, whatever. Like I'm respectful, but like middle name's got to be like not so average Joe. There we go. So it, like the kid could be like Reggie, not so average Joe Calder. There we go. <laughs> You're locked there in. There we go. 100. percent This is in. your word. This yeah, is like recorded. On, this is recorded, yeah. and you can't cut and it you out. Better not know, edit this part out. Yeah, yeah. Yep. You can't edit this part out. There we go. It's locked in. Oh. Locked and loaded. Wow. Love to hear it. You really do. Love to hear also, love shout love. out to um, Aaron Phillips, Slam colleague. Wow. He asked me for my uh, finals MVP predictions, and I told him Warriors in five and Jordan Poole is going to be the finals MVP. Stop and it. That's what I said. You did not say Warriors in five, I Jordan did. Poole. I did. I did. My brother, bro. You're I my did. brother, bro. All right. I just want to let you know. You, that's the yeah. official survival of the fitted predictions right there. Yeah. It's dubs in five, Jordan Poole MVP. I love to hear it. Absolutely love to hear it. Yeah, because wow. Stephen Curry gets carried in the finals every year. Yeah, now it's going to be by Jordan Poole. Big wow, superstar. That's carried amazing. by Iguodala, carried by Clay, and this year carried by Jordan Poole. I'm proud of your predictions. What are the odds? Look at us. That's Dude, amazing. I told you I know basketball. Apparently, I do too. That's awesome. <laughs> well, that's been another episode of the Survival of the Fit, episode 71. Yeah. It was amazing. Uh, mm-hmm. Future WNBA husband, I'm trying to get shows. Let me know. Real, Join real basketball. Discord. The real basketball husbands of Newport Beach. Let's get it. Go follow Survival of the Fitted wherever you get your podcast. Tell them that intern Joe sent you. Click the follow button. Go follow Survival of the Fitted.